Hi, my name is Matthew Topper and I'm the founder of Data Ready Greater and we're the Irish consultancy that recently released DT Ocean 2.0. Uh, this video is about installing the DT Ocean database. Um, the database is uh, an SQL database that acts as a store for um, device and site specifications that can be reused across multiple projects. It also has a, a large cache of reference data used across um, all projects. Uh, that contains things such as scientific constants, uh, and component databases, cables, equipment, ports, vessels, costs, uh, reliability information, that kind of thing. So it's pretty useful um, to have this connected when you're um, doing your own projects in order to fulfill some of those, those inputs required by DT Ocean. Uh, so as I said, the, um, the database is an SQL database. Uh, it's served by a, a, a Postgres, uh, PostgreSQL um, database management system. Um, generally, it's considered that this would be installed on the computer that, uh, that is uh, where the DT Ocean software is installed. But you could, in theory, install this on a, on a network. Note that it's only designed for a single user at the moment. Um, there's a possibility of expanding that out to, to multiple users in, in the future, but right now it's really only be database should be accessed by one user at a time. Um, so starting from the beginning, um, you'll need the software to install the database. Um, so the the main software is uh, Postgres. So I'm just going to search for PostgreSQL. Um, And let's see, you go to the official site here. Uh, click download. And then you want to find Windows in this binary packages section. And then download the installer here from Enterprise DB. And this is updated quite often, but uh, we're going to use uh, version 10 or series 10 and download for x86. Uh, I've done this previously, actually. I click Save here in, um, in Edge, but I'm going to click Cancel because it's already on my desktop. Uh, note, you also need spatial extensions for, for this uh, database management system called PostGIS. Uh, you can install that directly, um, but if that doesn't work, if you happen to have issues perhaps with uh, um, firewalls and the like you can download the software so if you go to post gis or if you search for post gis again go to postgis.net their official site and if you click the download tab here and look at binary installers and look at windows and click the windows download link and then this under release versions, you can 2.5.1, look at OSGO downloads. PG10 matches the version of Postgres that we're using. And then yeah, select 32-bit or 64-bit, depending on you know on your architecture that you're using. Again, I've already downloaded this uh 2.5.1-1 XE here. Uh, and it's on my desktop, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, but yeah, if you need that, then this is the place to go. Finally, uh, I'm going to go to the DT Ocean GitHub. Um, uh, so web.github.com forward slash DT Ocean. I'm going to go to the DT Ocean database repository. You can get this to this from the main DT Ocean page. Uh, here we go, DT Ocean database. And I'm going to go just look at the front page again, installation. So a zip file containing the database backup and installation instructions can be found on the releases page. So go to the releases page. And I'm just going to download this zip file. And I haven't downloaded this already, so it's going to take a couple of minutes. I am going to pause the video and come back when it is done. Okay, so the download's finished. Uh, I'm going to just uh, move that onto the desktop. There we 
Thank you. Okay, so I have everything I need. I have Postgres, optionally I have PostGIS, and I have the DC Ocean database zip file. I'm just gonna extract this now. And in here you'll find three files. You'll find two database backups. We've got the template backup here, which is basically an empty structure um, for the database. Uh, um, essentially, it allows you to make copies of, of databases, of detailed databases to produce your own. Um, and perhaps we'll explain that in, a, in another video in the future. You have the main DTOcean examples database. This contains the reference data and it contains an example of a wave, um, floating wave in a fixed tidal energy um, uh, array. Um, the floating wave example is based around the Sandia reference model RM3. And we worked with Sandia to, to develop that model and, and test it in DTOcean. Uh, you also come with instructions in here, so if you were to open this file, um, this will explain basically what I'm going to go through here. Um, so you could just stop and do this now if you wanted to, or you can stick with me to, for me to show you how it's done. Note that uh, this uh, guide has 10.6 version, but now that's moved on to 10.7, but it's not going to make any significant difference to these, to these instructions. So we begin by installing uh, Postgres. So just double click on the installer. Just go through this wizard. Default here is fine. Stack Builder is the um, tool we're going to use to install PostGIS. Uh, this is also the tool that may not work for you, hence the, the PostGIS download, but it's important to, to give it a try. So we just leave all of these options here. Yeah. Okay, so we take a um, add a password for your super user. This is very common for this just to be a uh, the same name as the user, which is Postgres. So I'm just going to type Postgres in here. Uh, choose whatever you want, but it's very typical. This port is very important, must be on 5432, so leave that. Uh, and you can choose a, a locale. I'm going to choose English Ireland, English UK. No, I'm going to choose English Ireland. Here we go. Okay, everything's ready. Click next. Click next again. And again, this may take a few minutes. So I'm going to pause the download and we'll come back once this uh, this is finished. Okay, so the Postgres uh, installation itself has uh, has completed, uh, and now uh, you get this page saying setup is finalized, installing PostgreSQL on your computer, launch Stack Builder at exit, and yes, we want to leave this ticked, and we're going to click finish. Okay, so Stack Builder started, so we need to choose which uh, PostgreSQL we want, and we're just going to pick this local one, click next. Uh, you may need to set up proxy services, uh, proxy servers, as this will communicate um, over the internet. Uh, um, however, there's no issues with that on this machine. So we are going to just click this spatial extensions uh, tree here branch and then we're going to pick 2.5.1 this one here which is the same version that we downloaded uh, make sure that's ticked and then that's all we have to do click next click next again uh, 
And now it's downloading. Okay, so the files are downloaded and we can start the installation now, so click Next. And then there's a license agreement. Don't click this Create Spatial Database, it's not necessary, we just need PostGIS. And that's the going in the same folder as the Postgres. Copy in the files now. So you can happily click tick or click yes, sorry, on all of these um, uh, these questions that come up. So yes, yes, yes. Um, unless you have something else going on in this database, uh, then then you can happily click this. Uh, if you if you're using the database for something else, then then I recommend you read them a little bit more closely. Finish. Okay, so we're ready to go. So we can check that this is working. Uh, scroll down in your start menu and find Postgres. And then most of the work we do is through this PG admin tool. So click this, and this kicks off in a in a browser in your default browser. OK, so here we go then. So here's our server. And if we want to connect to it, we just check the little arrow at the branch. It's going to ask for our password and uh, we're just going to type on Postgres, click OK. And now we have our database server um, and we have the default Postgres database. So the next part of this uh, video is just to show you now how to add the DT Ocean databases um, and then uh, set up uh, set up users and that kind of thing and then we'll show it connected uh, to the DT Ocean um, uh, to the DT Ocean software itself.